I have been following Mother Teresa since 1975. I still cherish the small sheet of paper she gave me. Only actor rickshaw kore ashlo, actor box niye she se, teen box. Aar actor inu rakbar actor kotu boro, bata niye she se. Shab mushto, shiri shiri pojonto. Her mission was so important and she was doing really with a great, great determination and uh, with a great desire to do something for the people. From Mother, I have written three books. It was the 10th September 1946. She had this inspiration, she told me. Jesus spoke to me and said, I want you to serve me among the poorest of the poor. That was the inspiration. The congregation still keeps it as inspiration day on the 10th of September. It, she had to leave Loreto convent. She had permission and she was going to start her own institute. I was a Loreto nun and then I gave up uh, as a principal of the school then and then I, I, off, I offered that to Almighty God, that sacrifice. And I started this work for the poorest of the poor. We have a special vow with God to give wholehearted free service to the poorest of the poor. The unwanted, the unloved, the uncared. That's why wherever you go all over the world, you will see only people who nobody wants, who have no one, who have nothing. They are our chosen ones. She had already left Loreto. She came back from Patna and she did not have a place. 14 Cricklin. This is where it all began. This was made by Canton Carpentry, and this picture is in Mother House. Agdon Agdon Kori Sister Ashlo, Sister Agnes, Sister Gettu, Sister Dorothy, Sister Claire. So here come Kori Onik, Barazon Hulu. So Agdon Abar join Kori Abar Agi Chule Kori Agdin Agi. Agarazon Hoy Chilo Prathom. Tar Pori Ekhane Aata Agdon Sister Hoy Tar Pori Muni Jai Elu Asar Pori Fifty Kori. They came up to be 28, and that was really too many, even putting the sisters on mats close to one another. There was no more room for more, and 
they had to find a bigger place. Monsignor Barber, the wicked general, found the house on 54A Lower Circular Road. And mother told me, what are we going to do with this big property? There was not the four-story house they have now, of course. Huh? There was only a two-story little house, and mother found it was too big. And now it is too small for the close to 300 sisters who are living there. Mother, Nirmal Gridai was your first, wasn't it, mother? Yes. First, that's why they call it mother's first love. Founding of Kaligat. Serving the poorest of the poor. Kaligat. I picked him up from the street full of worms and I brought him to our near Morfidoi and he said, I live like an animal in, in the street, but I'm going to die like an angel, loved and cared. And just before he died, he looked at sister and said, Sister, I'm going home to God. And there was such a beautiful smile. A Hindu gentleman eaten up by worms, eh? said he had no complaint, no nothing. Because the sisters showed him so much tender love and care and they brought joy in his life. So I think love is very powerful when it comes as a love for God, God's love in action. Ninmal Gridoy, the home of the dying destitute, is next to the famous Kali Temple. It is a remarkable place, an oasis of peace, where Mother brings people no matter who they are or where they come from. People left dying on the streets are given their final shelter in the last spasm of life. Time moves in a peaceful slow motion here. There is hardly any sound because all are at peace. People smile, hold out their hands. It seems they have found eternal joy and have experienced the ultimate truth. Mother calls it going home. No matter who they are God or what they got, no matter what they believe, she gives them what they need. They receive love and personal care, that dignity that spares all from dying lonely and unwanted. It must have been a daunting task for this frail but brave nun. She faces the misery and agony and gives the hopeless the hope, the joy, the last touch of happiness. And they fear nothing. Mother, except for total faith in God, what else do you need to overcome fear? To a clean heart, you need to pray. And because prayer gives a clean heart. And a clean heart can intimately talk to God. And with his love and with his blessing, then we can love others. Because he has said very clearly, love one another as I have loved you. And the fruit of love is always peace, joy, and unity. That is why I insist so much on a family prayer, because family that prays together stays together. And when they stay together, they will love each other as God loves each one of them. And when there is love, there is joy, there is unity, peace, and fruitful family. Mother, at Nirmal Ridoy, there is an aura of an aura which one really one can't explain. 
we have accepted them, we accept them as the children of God, as my brother, my sister. There is a small statue of Virgin Mary here. Around its neck is the Padma Shri. Shishubhavam is to receive babies that have been found on the street, that have been abandoned, or that unwed mothers do not want to keep at home. Mother is against abortion. She fights abortion with adoption. My opinion is to fight abortion by adoption. And here in Calcutta alone, in our children's home, I have Shubhavan, I have given 4,000 children in adoption. Once left on the pavements or doorsteps, in rain or in heat, the children enjoy motherly care and love. The unwanted are very much wanted here. Babies, like more or less all the time, we will have some uh, 350 to 400. What about the children? How many get adopted? Almost all the normal children. All who are coming here, most of them get adopted. And uh, most of them go abroad? No, they are like uh, equal number. How many they? How many of them go in India? Only that many of them will go in abroad also. They are, they are, it should be, number should be equal. and she serves, winning hearts of the people of the world. Her touch brings solace and heals the wounds. She works relentlessly for the poor and the downtrodden. People from all over the world come gladly to serve her. She gave me the chance to work a little bit and to support uh, the missionaries of charity. Only a very small place. And it's an experience. It's a, for me my first experience and it's very important. People are so poor and so full of love also. And we can we cannot do a lot of things, just giving them some love. Mother Teresa, number one in the world, number one in the world. When I was 16, I first saw a documentary about her, and she, when a Westerner asked her, how can I help, um, her answer was, come and see. And 11 years later, um, I just I felt like the invitation was personal, and I had to come. The white and blue sari-clad sisters can be found in every corner of the world. Mother's house is the epicenter of this unique endeavor. How so much work around the world is done from this house is indeed a wonder. She has started more than 600 houses all over the world in more than a hundred countries where 
only the poor and the needy and the suffering and now even the aged people are being received. So her work has been really worldwide. She is considered a citizen of the world, a living saint. She serves the poor, the destitute, and the sick, and gives them that respect and love that they are deprived of. Let us do this for the glory of God and the good of people, no other reason. And for the peace, unity and joy and love comes through prayer. And the fruit of prayer is union with God. And, you, and that the fruit of union with God is love, joy, peace and unity. And how does she meet the expenses? The other day, some time back, a group of young people came and said, Mother, we have made a new society, and the new society's name is Hope, and the aim is to help the hopeless. Yes. And now we thought that, we decided that you are the hopeless one. And if she ever falls sick, the world media waits willingly through long nights and follow every move. And people from all religion pray together. And when she leaves, the whole world mourns. When we die, there's a whole chapter in the gospel where Jesus says, 
when we die and go home to God, again we will hear Jesus say, Come, you blessed of my Father, possess the kingdom prepared for you, because I was hungry and you gave me to eat, I was thirsty and you gave me to drink, I was naked and you clothed me, I was homeless and you took me in, I was sick and in prison and you visited me. Come to save the kingdom prepared for you. Under the tricolor, mourned by the world, she leaves to return, leaves to return a saint, Saint Teresa. I still feel that everything's fine, everything's working well, everyone's working away like she wanted them to do. I don't miss her in the way people say that people, when they go, that you miss them. She's there with me and whenever I need her, she's always there to answer my prayers and my requests. For her, everything was beautiful, whether somebody was dying, whether somebody was living, whether somebody was uh, poor, whether somebody was rich, everything was beautiful for her. Oh, sure.